difficulty sometimes. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, uh, 3D printing. Um, as um, uh, I've been doing some 3D printing to create parts uh, for my plane, and I'll, I'll show you some of those. Uh, and I've been going to the local library uh, where they have MakerBots, uh, one MakerBot, and it's hard to get a time on it to print out parts. So uh, I wanted to, uh, I don't use it for production, so I couldn't justify uh, buying a, a, an expensive MakerBot. And I saw this uh, Prusa Pro B from uh, GTEC. Uh, and I thought, oh, I, it was $300 US. And I thought, oh, let, me, let me give it a try uh, and see if it works. So I thought what I'd do today is I want to do a series of videos. Today's videos is going to be talking about problems I had in assembling. Uh, and uh, getting my first output uh, from the uh, from the uh, GTEC uh, Prusa printer. Uh, then the next series I'm going to talk about some tips, things I've learned on how to make printing easier. And then finally I will be uh, looking at uh, some of the techniques for, for making specific parts. I, the GTEC have done a good job. They uh, for a company that's in China, they, they, the instructions are, are, are well written, uh, but they, they do lack. Uh, and um, the tech support is, is very good. Uh, the printer, uh, now that I have everything assembled and working properly, does a great job. It's as good as the MakerBot, uh, and I can compare the, the, the pieces uh, <coughs> uh, back and forth between the two. However, there is a steep learning curve. I don't want to kid anybody that you're just going to put this together and be up and running that afternoon after you assemble it. Uh, going through the assembly uh, uh, is, uh, you save a lot of money by assembling it yourself, but there's a lot of care that needs to be taken in the assembly. And then there's learning about the software. So that all takes a lot of time in getting everything set up right. So let's start by talking about, in this series, about some of the problems I had and, um, and the things that you should look out for uh, when you assemble your uh, Prusa Pro B. That applies to now. As you know, they keep changing these models. So in six months, if you're looking at this video, will these tips help you? I don't know, but hopefully for now, they will. Okay, so one of the first things that I, uh, that I wanted to mention is that when I was putting the... Um, uh, let me talk about some of the axes I'm going to talk about. This here is the y-axis, okay? This here is the x-axis, and up and down is the z-axis. So when I talk about the z-axis, it's talking about up and down. One of the things, if you notice on the side here, you'll see that there's a scrape going up and down. Well, they didn't mention that the, the bolt that holds on this here belt mechanism. There's the uh, the belt here. They didn't mention that the uh, the screw the screw that holds on this uh, the, the, the the tooth belt here that moves the uh, the extruder on the uh, x axis. That has to be put in a certain way. The bolt the 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 the, the bolt has to be coming out towards you. Although it looks small, if you re if you put the bolt head facing towards the back, or I'm calling this the back of the machine, it'll actually scrape against here. And for a day, I didn't know why it wasn't, why it wasn't working right. It's because the bolt uh, was actually scraping into the, into the plastic here. So be careful uh, and check your clearances on all your on your screws, so it wasn't self-evident in the instruction, but make sure that the bolt, the the, the head is from back to front. That will save you uh, a lot of problems. Uh, the other thing is the LCD and uh, SD card cables. Not clearly marked. Okay. Looking at the back, okay, when you're looking at the back of it, I'll show a close-up of it. The LCD is on the left, and the SD card plug is on the right, okay? I had, it took me a while to hunt to find that. If you don't put them in white, you could cause some damage. Um, 
I don't think so, but they say that, that you could. Uh, but just remember that the LCD is on the left and the SD is on the right when you plug it in. And that's important when you plug it into the computer. Uh, the one thing that hasn't been repaired is sometimes the display will have a jumbled output, uh, especially when you're plugging it into a PC later on. Uh, just press a button and then go back to info screen and it will go away. Why does it happen? I don't know. Um, if someone does know, I think I think it must be a software glitch <coughs> on one that gets jumbled, but it, it's not a problem. Uh, I've actually had it get jumbled, but it still continues to pick out fine. It's a display, a display issue. The one thing I had to do is on the back, I'll also show you, is that the on the Y axis, the the bed was actually going too far to the back, so I put a little door stop uh, on the back here, like for a cabinet door. So that when it hits the uh, switch for the Y axis it'll stop a little bit earlier rather than going right off the edge of the bed. So that was a, a simple little repair. Um, the big problem I had with this printer, and it took me days to figure this out, the extruder comes fully assembled. And when I was printing out parts, I'll get some parts. When I was printing out parts, um, and um, I was getting uh, some pretty rough looking, some pretty rough looking parts. I had no idea why. And then all of a sudden, the filament would no longer push out of the extruder. Um, I could not figure out what the heck was going on. I tested everything several times. Here's what the problem was. I took the extruder apart and the hob gear was not installed properly. It was actually not aligned up with the pulley so that everything was going into the extruder straight down. Uh, before you assemble yours, take the fan off and the heat sink and look into the extruder and make sure that everything is lined up perfectly. It took me days to figure that out. Once it was figured out, it started to print perfectly. So uh, I had a heck of a time trying to solve that problem. So. Uh, Check this, although it's fully assembled, take the fan and the uh, heat sink off and just look inside and make sure that everything is uh, lined up, especially that hob gear, because what was happening is, is the filament was actually clicking around the hob gear and falling off it and it wasn't pushing it down. A simple move of uh, one to two millimeters in the right direction and it prints out perfectly. So now I have... Um, I picked out parts uh, like crazy, uh, and uh, I, I love it. It's a great machine, great value for money, and you'll see in the future videos that I, I actually get some good value in that. Uh, I would order in parts, um, uh, often I would order in parts, like this here is a, a motor mount for a Bixler, a wing motor mount for a Bixler. I would order that in. And, uh, wait for it, and uh, it wasn't expensive normally, but it was only five or six bucks. Uh, and then by the time you get it, it's, it's the flying season is open over this way. If the file is downloaded, or if I need to, I can make it myself, print it out, and I'm up and running it in a day. So those are the problems uh, that I had. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show you some uh, tips as to how you can make everything maybe it was still talking about assembly. These are assembly tips. Those, this video is on assembly problems. The next video will be on assembly tips. Thank you for uh, watching this video. Or if you like it, press like and uh, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, thank you very much and have a great day.